the CD to the factory ship. Well, today we're looking at Christy OS Gnome Edition. Um, now I am going to use a pop-up live CD in virtual box. Um, so, so it does go slow, that's why. Um, but going to the channel here, you've got access to, um, why you the way it looks if you're on the laptop or desktop. Um, XSD battery if you're on the laptop. Um, we do have access to shutdown, um, lock, and settings. I don't know what that is. Um, you got your time for calendar and notifications. That's really awesome that it's integrated in with your calendar. Um, we got payment, which is just a simple, um, add-on move software program. I prefer payment over Octopi, which is what KDE has by default. Um, then you got access to places like home, desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, computer. Um, under activities, um, you just got, you know, you can switch from, like, desktop one to desktop two. Um, this will show all applications, um, you've got pretty much your archive, your add and move software, which is a payment, um, archive manager, um, SSH server stuff, calculator, calendar, a character map, which shows you all your keys, um, G's webcam mode, which is just, which is just a simple, um, webcam software. I, me personally, I prefer GUVCU. Um, desktop search, which you can just search for things that we Discs, so, um, so you can see what's, if anything's wrong with your disk. Disk is analyzer, which you can view, like, how much space is left on your hard drive. A document viewer, files, which is Nemo, I believe. FileZilla, fire, firewall configuration. Font viewer, GIM. Google Chrome, which is pretty weird, because you don't see um, a desktop environment that has Google Chrome. You usually either see Firefox or Chrome, so that's interesting. Um, help, HP device manager, so you got like a, um, printer, you can figure there. Ice, which is, um, they, it integrates Google Chrome at, um, Java and stuff. Image viewer, Inkscape, the full LibreOffice suite, um, manage printing, photos, play on Linux, which is really cool. Thing if you want to run Windows software on Linux, you use Play on Linux. Print settings, QT stuff, um, rhythm box with just a simple audio player, root terminal. So, like, let's say you want to install um, GUV, GUVC, for example, instead of typing the sudo Pacman dash as GUVC view and then put in your password. You click this and put your password, you can just say Pac-Man dash s g u v c people and they'll start installing. You can take a simple screenshot. Um, settings, simple backup stuff, Steam, um, system monitor, terminal, simple text editor, transmission, which is a bit more client, tweak tool, UX term videos, which is totally and XTerm again. Um, for system monitor, let's see what we're looking at. Again, this is a virtual machine, so you're, you're, you might be depending on resources. Um, that ain't bad. I'm only using 900 megs out of 4 gigs that game virtual app and 4 cores. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, then you got your simple dock down here. I can't remember what this dock is called up here. Um, it looks like Plink, I'm not for sure, um, this is, just looks like, actually, Nemo, 
the world found me up to. Um, now, what can I say about Chris and Eos? I like the simplicity of it, but me, I like um, XFC a lot better when it comes to desktop environment because it's more lighter and your resources. So if you got like an old XP machine, um, no one people you I would prefer I would personally if you got an old XP machine, I personally would put it on XMC on it. Um then your computer on a lot faster either XSC or LXD. Um, I not I'm not too familiar with X LXD, but yeah, I would highly recommend anyone who has XP machine either put XFC or LXD. But if you got a higher end computer that can stand more graphics, I would definitely do no um really can't go wrong with any any disk or that supports no. Um but yeah. Um, again, this is Steve D353, and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Y'all take care. Peace.